Hey guys, we're going to cover something that's been irritating me for days. Android Studio and Game Maker. Trying to get those to work together. Can't we all just get along? <sighs> Alright, where the uh, documentation fell short for me is um, it never really talked very much about the JDK. So, <clears throat> if you know a little bit about Java, and how the packages work. You have um, development kits, and you have, um, so you have JDKs, and you have SDKs, and you have NDKs. And um, to get Android to cooperate with your game uh, through Game Maker, you need to set up the SDK, the NDK, and the JDK locations, and also have the right versions installed. So. You're going to install, uh, download Android Studio. Uh, you can just Google it. It'll come up real quick. Android Studio download. Developer.android.com. Download Android Studio. Once it's installed, you'll see a screen like this. And you'll go to More Actions. You go to SDK Manager. Now, this was covered in the documentation well. And what you want under Android SDK here is you want Android API 33, and you just need this one checked. I watched another video and the guy uh, installed one of these packages down here as well. That's because he was running a, um, a virtual phone on his computer. Uh, I don't even care about that right now. I just want to be able to test my Android application on my actual Android phone uh, for some functionality purposes. Gets a little clunky if you're using a mouse instead of you know the touch screen. <clears throat> so you want to check that one. Then you want to go to SDK tools and you want to make sure um, the side by side. So you want 33.0.0 and the NDK side by side 24.0.8215888. Now they covered that well in uh, their documentation. Um, you can choose the location here. They usually suggest doing either in the root of the drive, you know, or close to it, so you don't run into um, file path length issues. Um, <clears throat> D drive is not a bad idea if you have a storage drive, just because if you do end up installing a lot of these, um, you know, phone APIs and systems, they can take up a lot of hard drive space. So, uh, note your location there. And... I also did the Amazon Fire. I don't know if I'm going to use that, um, but we're just going to go over the Android portion, not the Amazon portion. So when you're done with those, when you've got the NDK 24 and the Android SDK Platform 33 done, you click OK. It's going to take a little while. It's going to go ahead and download those packages and install them. But then in Game Maker, what you need to do is you go to File, you go to Preferences, and you go to platform settings, you go to Android. Now, <clears throat> the first problem I faced when I was trying to do this following the documentation is under platform settings, Android didn't exist. iOS didn't exist. I had upgraded my account to an ND account, which allows those exports. I had uninstalled and reinstalled Game Maker. No success at all. <clears throat> what I had to do is actually <laughs> a lot simpler. I had to um, log out. When I logged out, even though I tried the new IDE, which updates the the game at the uh, Game Maker software, when I logged out and logged back in, it installed more components based on my subscription. I thought that would have done it, at least with the uninstall and reinstall, but it didn't. So uh, if you're having that problem where you don't actually see your export options um, listed here that you need, and you have it with your subscription. Go to file, go to log out, log back in. You'll see an install thing in the top right. It'll go across and when it gets done with that, it should be in here. All right, <clears throat> so Android SDK location is really simple. It's the location you chose before. So uh, for me, I have it in the D game dev SDK. Well, that's fine. Um, the NDK, same thing. I, I use this for the NDK location. Um, now this is where it this is where it got a little different. The Java JDK location. 
So you want to use the JDK location that installs with Android Studio. Um, I had like three different uh, JDK versions on here. I think I had like 16, 17, 18. Well, and then I had eight. <laughs> so Android only supports eight point something, point something. And I know that doesn't sound very helpful when I say point something, but something, but it doesn't matter because it's going to install with Android Studio. So you need to uh, locate the JRE folder in the Android Studio folder, in the Android folder, in the Programs Files folder. So that looks something like this. You'd be C drive if you installed Android Studio on the C drive. Then it'd be Programs, programs Files, Android, Android Studio, and JRE. And then you'd hit Select Folder. Now, once I got that done, most of the things were done. You have to create a key store. That's not a big deal. Um, although I ran into a problem with that too. I ran into a problem every single uh, spot along the way. <clears throat> I had, uh, now these are just, this is just a test file, so it doesn't matter, but I had this password here different in the common name area than it was in the alias area. And uh, apparently, that's a problem. Uh, they have a bug where these passwords have to be the same because it checks the wrong password when you go to compile. So if you're getting a compile error that's saying it's having a problem re-decrypting, then you need to have your alias password and the password be the same. These common names don't have to be the same, common name and alias, but these passwords have to be the same. So when you generate key store, keep that in mind. All right, once you have that all done, um, under game options and Android, um, it should show up like this. It should show up uh, with your API level 33, and you just type in 33.0.0 for build tools, it'll be blank. You don't actually have to put in anything, but put it in so it looks nice. Uh, support library, a lot of this should automatically um, generate. Um, target SDK won't put 33 in there if you're using the build 33. Minimum SDK, that's the mini, minimum, um, how to put this, the minimum version of Android, and it's not actually 24. It's 24, I think it goes down to 16, something like that for Android release version. Uh, these aren't number for number SDK to Android release version. I don't remember, it's something like Oreo. Um, but yeah, you figure out your minimum SDK, put the number in there. The compile SDK is going to be your compile level you're using here, which is 33. And um, then the only other thing is the architecture. Uh, I had to use ARM64, but I also did build for 8664. Um, that has to do with the kind of phone. And then once you're done with that, you should be able to compile and, and build your project. Um, and send it out to your phone. Uh, targets, you want to make sure your phone is seen. If it's not, you're going to hit this edit here, detect device, and it'll find your device. If I had removed it, you could test the connection. The only other uh, thing to tell you about that is there's, there's two different output versions here. Um, it seems like the VM is kind of the quick and dirty way. Uh, if you have a really complex app with a lot of logic, you might want to do the YYC, but a VM is a, is a quicker compile and uh, it translates the code. Um, yeah, that was my journey of troubleshooting the uh, <laughs> Game Maker um, Android export feature on Game Maker. So I hope this is helpful to somebody. I hope that uh, you guys have a good day. And I'm going to bed. Have a good night. Is it too good to be true? I want this so much, but don't know if I can trust you. My mind's racing fast, trying to find the red flags I'm used to.